Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It's Monday, it's August 17th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And it was pretty much all uphill today. Um, the market opened right in here. We bottomed out right after the open and we've been, we traded up all day. Uh, we had a nice two-tiered channel here. Had a break and a couple of legs up and that took us right into the close. So this really was all uphill from basically the regular session open. Um, we went into a little bit of a trading range down here. This can get really sticky. You're better off just to stay out of this. We talked about this many times. Once you start to see prices stacking up like that, um, you're better off just to stay out of them. Now, you were looking for a reversal uh, because we had the break and uh, a new low. So you got to be aware of a reversal, but you really need a good setup. Um, before you do, notice how we finally got through the EMA here. It pulls back. Um, somebody asked me about going long right here. With all those matching highs and those three bars stacking up, I would wait. Uh, plus, uh, I would wait on a breakout pullback long. Uh, you actually could argue that this was a breakout pullback long here, but I wouldn't take that entry with all those matching highs across there and the double top. Uh, we finally made a little break higher and notice what happened here. The, the main reason I like this one was we had a little double bottom down here with matching lows and it broke one tick lower reverse and went out the top. So I'm okay going long right there with a stop above the red bar uh, because it did it all in one bar. That's a good sign that we're probably going to go higher. You don't know that this is going to happen, but that's the beauty of this entry here. If you caught it, you could, you know, you, 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 a runner's going to be safe, and you can ride this all up. There were several runners today. This one would have had a runner. Uh, this one, this one. Uh, this is the first long that wouldn't have had a runner here. So really good setup, a really good day, really, once we realize we're going higher. And there was a gap on the daily chart uh, to right here. So I, it was my first target, but we just went right on through that. Uh, it was a strong rally day. And that tends to happen every time we get much below 2100 we tend to rally at some point and rally fairly strongly as well but let's uh let's back out a little bit talk about the trades when i came in we were in a downtrend here um you had your first break right here and notice this here notice we had a nice kind of bullish bar here and it broke higher turned and went low you can't go long right there especially way down there below the ema um, and you need a really good setup to go short, but you got that here because you've really got uh, kind of a double top across here. I don't have my line on here. Let me put it on here. And you can see that double top. Well, there we go. And this is like a double test of that high. And it, it broke above that bar first and turned. And, and when you see that happen, that's generally a first sign of a trap when it breaks higher and then or breaks lower and turns and reverses instantly and closes down. So I'm okay with having your stop right here or putting it below here. And again, you don't know this is just going to take off like that, but any runners would have been safe. It was, it was a good day for runners. And then you get a little breakout pull back short right here. I went back and forth about whether or not to make this one green or not. Um, but the market, that's really bearish, and then it breaks higher and does the same thing and turns and goes out the other side, and you get a big bearish bar. So you could have gone short with a stop there or just put it right below here. Um, you are going short at the low of the day, but this has been a pretty pretty good down move, and uh, odds are you're going to you know get at least a scalp out of it. Uh, again, this is real borderline green. But notice you got a new high here, so it's a failed second entry long. Uh, it's a breakout pull back short. It's right off this shorter term trend line right coming down through here. Uh, a lot of different reasons to like that when the market's fairly bearish at that point. Um, but then we kind of go into this trading range here. And this is real obvious. This shouldn't be hard to see at all. Um, there's no reason to be going short, and you don't want to be going long yet. Um, it's tempting to go long down in here, but you don't really get a good setup. Notice that new high. There's a pullback first entry, pullback. So on your second entry, you got a bearish bar, and there's not much room before that high. 
So really you just got to wait on a failed, uh, some kind of trap or a breakout pullback long. And you really could argue for this, like I said earlier, being the breakout long when it broke higher right here. But look how the bars are stacked up again. And generally on a breakout pullback, you want a, some kind of a trap or a second entry, so to speak. And so you really wouldn't get that until here. And this is not really a second entry. Um, it's just two attempts to go lower. And um, you get that little trap that breaks lower and then turns and goes out the upper side. And so far, every time you've pretty much seen that today, it's worked. And it works once again. And then it pulls back here and um, gives you another push higher. And at this point, you got a little shorter term trend line working up. And again, you don't know that it's going to do this, but um, you figure you'll get a scalp. You figure you're going to at least test this, but it just shoots right through all of that stuff. It, it's obvious now that the market's really strong. Um, pull back here, first entry, pull back. Notice there's a second entry there. And this is why I'm saying you can't just look for second entries. You got to wait on a setup. Um, but this is really your first close outside the trend line right here. Uh, this one's too close. You might could argue for that one, but you still need the new low, and that comes right here. Uh, notice that you get a little double bottom there, uh, but you don't get any little break lower that traps anybody or anything. And um, I mean, this is real tempting to go long right here, I'll say, uh, because it looks like a double bottom. Well, it is a double bottom, but you didn't have a new a, a new low yet and the trend line's way down here so you got to have a really good setup here off of this midline and um, if you went long here it, uh, would, let me just say I don't know if it would have worked or not uh, your entry would have been 86 and it would have been a four tick failure um, and it's tempting to go short right there but after the market's moving this higher and your trend line you're better off not to take any counter trend trades because you mess around and get trapped. So, but now look what happens. Let me show you. You got one leg down, a little two legged correction, and then you get another leg down. And you actually went more than a measured move there. There's two legs in this first leg, then there's a two legged correction, and then there's your second leg down. So, th even though there's two legs here, this is one leg, then a little two legged correction, and another leg. And you kind of overshot that here. And guess where it bounces? I want, you're not real sure. Originally, I had this a little flatter, uh, but this is right at the EMA, so this is kind of where you would expect it to happen. Um, I didn't like taking that first bar, or maybe not even that one, although that is where the entry really is. When it pulled back here and uh, went higher again, uh, I like going long above that one uh, because now you've got several bars bouncing off uh that trend line, proving it, and um, you got your back above the EMA. Uh, you could consider a limit order here as well, trying to get back in one tick above this. Would have probably got filled for you, um, but you really could have entered anywhere along there, looking for it to, you know, head higher, at least testing this high and this high. But you get another little breakout pull back long, and it just takes off again. I uh, did make this one green because it's just a second entry uh, really counting off the lows. You really could argue for this being a, um, if this would have broke lower here, you could argue for this being a failed second entry short. And it looks real similar, but it's technically not on this chart. So, and you're getting along right into those highs, double top where there's only a little bit of room. Here's where you needed to go. The black line would have filled the gap. So there's still a little room to go higher there but you never know when you're going to break higher and turn back down and then go higher. So uh, this one's a little bit aggressive, and I did mark it green. Um, there's a failed second entry short right here. This is where the official failed second entry short was. But now you're going high or going long into all these highs and all this resistance, and I just don't think it's worth risking. Uh, it would have worked, but you're better off to wait on another pullback. And you get that here. Notice you're coming down. You get the break, a new low. It's almost a repeat pattern here. Uh, you get another little bar. Just go along there. And you know, it's, it's really just a repeat type pattern. You got just enough for the scalp, uh, unless you used a limit order and got a little better entry. And then it pulls back and makes a new low and it traps people. 
and it's really tempting to go long there, but I think you're better off to wait on the second uh, the second entry. But by the time that comes, you're going long right into this all this resistance. Uh, then you get one more little push up, and it turns down. So by this time, you really could go long here, but I didn't like it because of the matching highs, just like right here. Look what happened. So I didn't really like it until it you got this setup again. Notice what happens breaks lower and now you've tried to go lower multiple times it bounces right off the EMA and now you got a confirmation really of this trend line as well um, so I like going along there either above that bar or really one tick above this bar when it went lower and then turned up but you really could have gone long right here too um, but the reason I didn't like it is because it's kind of a repeat pattern of down here and it failed on that little break higher. So um, that's the reason I didn't like it. But you really could, I probably should give it a green circle. And it was really tempting to go long. But the main reason I didn't like it, because it looked like a repeat pattern. And generally the same thing is going to happen. And that's kind of what happened there. Even though it turned out it worked in the long run. Even here it worked in the long run. But you had that one tick back. Here you didn't get the one tick back, so you wouldn't have got stopped out, but it it is almost a perfect repeat pattern of that. Um, and then that got you you up to your new high. You don't want to go long there on the first entry. Um, you got a second entry here, but again, I think you need to wait on a, um, a second entry off the low, another little trap, and that's supposed to be blue, not red. I didn't even notice it till I was about to move it out of the way. Uh, then, now you got a little double bottom, and it's a double test here. So you've got another confirmation of this uh, support line here. And it's a small bar. Gives you a little low-risk entry, so I liked it. Um, and notice what you got. You got one leg up, a correction, and you worked on another leg up. And that was pretty much it for today. So it was a really good trading day, you, you know, Again, there were a lot of big moves here, so it was a good day to try to hold on to runners. Just about all of these had a runner um, that you could catch and ride, uh, you know, based on how you want to manage it. And I'm just trying to think. Um, actually, I wanted to show one other thing. I'm going to pause it just a second. I wanted to share this email I got with you uh, just to make sure, because a lot of times if one person is confused, there's a chance that there might be some others that are confused in the same way, but uh, I got this email from a trader, and he, he says um, it's basically uh, his subject line is the light bulb that did it for me, and uh, he goes, hey, Matt, wanted to share with you something that might benefit others during their learning process, but what really did it for me is understanding the part of the trend line break and retest. I always drew my trend lines from the first couple of swings like you teach, but I had a little misunderstanding of the importance of the trend break. The rule that the trend break always that the trend always has to fit neatly was overdone, I think, and overshadowed the rest of my thinking on how things work. Although always thought for some reason the new swing highs and lows always had to fit with the start of the trend. So I would move the trend line as soon as a new high low was in place, obviously making me miss the importance of the break. From now on, I draw them out from the first couple of swings and watch for the break retest. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what he is. I would move the trend line as soon as a new, I guess once he gets a new high in place, he would draw this trend line maybe, which would be a shorter term one. But for whatever reason, he was um, he was changing his trend line and not leaving it there. And so he would miss, he wouldn't catch this break here for whatever reason. Um, from now on, I draw them out from the first couple of swings and watch for the break and a retest, a lesson learned. Always respecting that rule started improving my trading. You talked recently about the importance of short-term trend lines, and it really does help keep you on the right side once you get it to click in your head. Reading charts has become much clearer now. Hope this can influence others. So anyway, I thought I would share it with you. Um, you know, just like even here, even though we had a trend line break at a new high, notice how I drew my short-term trend line. And it's still, and that's another reason that I liked this next setup here, because 
you got two touches and a third touch it confirms this little shorter term trend line and uh, you can see that happen over and over and over and just like notice this one right here you had the break a correction and notice there's a short term trend line right here too and you had the break and a correction and so you know follow these shorter term trend lines because they help you once you got the close outside you know to stay clear until you get down to the main one or you get a trap or something you know something that would uh, make you feel comfortable entering again and it's places like here you just have to stay out there's nothing in there it's too close to the lows to enter and it's too close to the highs the bars are as big as the range and so there's just no way to enter in here so you're better off the only one I might have considered entering was right here because you got a double bottom and that little one tick plus it's a second entry long notice that new little swing high there so it's pull back first entry pull back second entry and it's a little bitty tiny bar um, so it's a low risk entry so that one is the only one I might consider and it probably should be paint, uh, circled green and knowing that prices will probably go back at least to the EMA but you never know if they won't go only to the next swing and then turn down and, and it did indeed do that but it ended up going higher so I'm willing to give that one a green one because if you're being really aggressive and I'll be honest I thought about it real hard and almost entered it and talked myself out of it um, and so that's the reason I didn't mark it but it probably should be green um, and notice you got another second entry long here but your signal bar is horrible there's some overlap they're kind of it's an inside bar and even though it would have worked in the end because you got this little turn down it's not worth entering it's just you just, you just need to stay out of that again if you look right here if I go all the way to the right side of the chart you didn't have all that overlap yet it's just you know you're still kind of trending down but you can see how bearish it still looks but the one thing that I like about this one is you got that those matching let me make it bigger where you can see it you have all those matching lows and it ticks lower and it looks real bearish what would have been really nice if it would have ticked lower right here because I guarantee you there were a lot of sales stops right there ready to go short right there at the very bottom and when that thing ticks short and it turns and starts rocketing up that's a usually a great trap knowing that you're going to probably at least go back to the EMA but this is real aggressive and uh, and so it is green but that's the only entry I see across that whole area uh, that I'd be willing to take and um, you know if it wasn't the low of the day and there was more room to scalp out if you did get a break below that you might consider a short but otherwise no and there's also a um, notice there's a new low pullback first entry pullback there's another second entry short right there um, but this is a trading range by now and that's a failed break higher but there but there's no guarantee you're gonna put be able to push out the low because it's been holding every time so there's not enough room there to scalp out and then the same reasons for going long again you don't have room and the only place you can enter now once it's a known range is on a breakout pullback you don't want to buy the breakout and this is really still the breakout right here even though this ticked back the fact that it couldn't go out any higher and ends up kind of a double top matching highs there that's not a good sign so here's where the real breakout pullback occurred right here and that's the reason I like that one it's real faint and you got to have a real keen eye but it's there and if you understand the price action so that's pretty much uh, it for the day I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to share um, hopefully maybe that email from the other trader might help somebody not sure if it will or not but that's my hope and that's why I share some of that I always get emails that somebody you know when I read previous emails I usually get some responses and they're positive so uh, I continue to read those from time to time just to help people that might be in the same spot or might be having the same issues that kind of thing so anyway I'm gonna wrap it up for today hope you had a good trading day we'll be back again to do it tomorrow this is Mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time